haven't. I still haven't fully recovered from the strip club. Oh yeah, yeah. You remember yeah. that? <laughs> yeah, buddy. Have you seen this episode? The, epi- the strip yes. club episode. Yes, I have. Dude, nuts. I was thinking about it the other day because well, one of my homies invited me out. He was like, "Yo, we haven't hung out in a while. Like, we should go out again." And I'm like, "Oh no, I don't think we should." <laughs> yeah, you're like, I'm still <laughs> eating ramen. And <laughs> <laughs> I don't like, mean like yeah. that. I financially recovered. She, she cleaned real me quick. out, you know. No, I'm not talking about that. She cleaned my, out my wallet and my insides, you know. I mean, like mentally, like you know, yeah. like you know, like the, my innocence is gone now. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah the yeah. other day, I was thinking about. It, I was like, damn, dude, I'm just not the same anymore. And yeah. I don't know for whatever reason, I just thought of that. But I, I also, I get really high sometimes too. You're so. you're toxic. You're a toxic male now. You know. Like, you you're welcome. Welcome to the crowd, you know? It's like, crazy. I don't know. Yeah. Like, the other the other day I went shopping, and I was like, damn. I really went off the, the rails in, like, life. I stopped going to the gym for a little while. Yeah. That shit's gnarly. I don't I, don't, I remember, like, being on schedule about the gym. Yeah. And then now just, I haven't been in a while. Yeah, bro, tell me about it. Like, you know, uh, I, um, I joined the gym. And, you know, and especially whenever, like, I, I, I get single, right, I'm like, all right, got to get in the hunting shape, you know, like, and whatnot. <laughs> and so I was going to the gym legit, like, all the time. And I actually haven't met and gone to the gym since I kind of started dating Buddy. <laughs> Not that I'm playing with Buddy at all. But uh, speaking of which. Um, yeah. Hello, Bunny. Hello. This is Bunny. Uh, she's one of the new co-hosts to actually one of the main staples of the Manly Green. Ooh, manly girly channel that's another thing i figured out i think i have a speech impediment we'll talk about that yeah. later <laughs> it's just called being mexican I, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know i feel like i i stumble my words too often but we'll like i said we'll talk about that later yeah, yeah. welcome to the team thank you i'm well, excited so talk about yourself you know like kind of like what do you do for fun like what's the hobbies like what's wh- what about you makes you um, my hobbies are, I like to play pool. Okay. I go to the gym. Damn, burn. Sometimes. Damn. <laughs> See um, me, like, I, I look, I <laughs> normally look like I don't go to the gym. You, on the other hand, you, know, yeah. you, you fit poppy sometimes. Thank but you. I always no. bring him treats. So he doesn't. Yeah, she literally brought oh, me a fucking. you're sabotaging him. That's crazy. She literally brought me a skinny. fucking frappuccino and, like, a, a pastry. That's true. I've you never, know, uh, I've, I have never seen you drink a frappuccino. Yeah, but as long as I intermittent fasted, that means I can't eat until tomorrow at, like, 7 p.m. I guess. Oh, shit. Yeah. That's crazy. You're going to yeah, eat. You... <laughs> so you said you're in the pool? Yeah, I like playing pool, and then I, like, I do lash extensions. I wax. Vaginas. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's wild. Dude, I, I'm i pretty good at virtual pool. Are you? Yeah, crazy But not eights. real life pool? I'm all right at pool. Did, okay. did the stripper that, that danced on you, do you think she had a wax vagina? <laughs> For sure. They have to. Yeah? They have to. Have you had a lot of clients? That, you I know? do have stripper clients. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. What's, what's the usual... Um, do they get the full treatment? Like, well, what are they coming in for? Just the wax or lashes too? Some of them do both, yeah. but some of them just do the waxing. Do you, uh, do you have a stripper special? You know, a right? stripper I special. I wish I did because I would charge them more. The yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Well, I don't think they'd be going around telling everybody, "Hey, I'm a stripper." You know. Well, you can good. charge them extra, like that. You know that COVID cleaning that they used to charge you yeah. is extra. <laughs> just extra, you know. They tip good though, so. And they well, not monogamy <laughs> cleaning, you know, to be politically correct. I mean, if they're taking fifteen hundred dollars from me yeah. from one night, of yeah, course, yeah, 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 they're gonna yeah. tip well. <laughs> Charge them, <laughs> that is so much. It's fucking better. No, but that um, was too much. Yeah. The, yeah. Sorry. Sorry. It's all right. uh, Lesson bank learned. Account. Sorry, mom. <laughs> yeah. If he was your son, you know, like, what would you, you know? What would you advise him? Like, if he's going to go to the strip club, right, how can he get his best bang for his buck, in your opinion? One set of budget. Take whatever cash you're going to take. That way you don't spend any more. So you're not overspending. And then I would probably just tell him, start with the stage, get a feel for the girls, and then just find a good one and take How can you tell him? How can you tell if a stripper is a good one, you know? <laughs> well, do you like the way she dances? Do you like the way she looks? Does she have a fat ass? Do you like her tits? Like what? 
<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, bunny. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. You know, no, that's I, fucking that's awesome. Intro. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I did none of that, as a matter of fact. See? I was and sitting look there. what happened. No, my friends threw me under the bus. They were like, it's his first time. And so obviously you tell somebody it's their first yeah, time. Yeah, they're going to take you gonna for take all your you. dollars. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's all right. I recovered. And it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Financially, it took me three days. But that's it. <laughs> That's not bad. Three yeah, days. three days to just recover is fine. Yeah, no maybe deal. do it again. No, <laughs> <laughs> never. But um, I'm glad you're on the team. Welcome to the Me team. Too, thank you. And hopefully, no, not hopefully, definitely, we're gonna have some funny ass moments. Yeah. Now, speech impediment. That's something I was talking about. Yes. Dude, the mm-hmm. other day I was talking to my roommate about it, and I was like, dude, I think I just fucking suck at talking. <laughs> and she's like, what do you mean by that? I mean like. Sometimes I'll talk really fast and not notice it, and then I'll jumble up a word, and it'll make me sound dumb. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like that little spiel that I had like uh, six minutes ago. That shit's fucking nuts. I think you may be too critical of yourself, you know? Like, what do you think it makes you sound dumb, you know, maybe? Oh, because it's like, I don't know, like... Your brain just works faster than your mouth. Oh. Oh, you mean like a... No, I can't even explain it. Yeah. I'm so fucking zoned out. Yeah, and then she says, "Do you want to go for another round?" <laughs> no. yeah. And you're like, "Yes, yes." You know what? Thank you, thank you for appealing to my ego. No, but yeah, that, <laughs> what what I mean is that is that I just don't want to like sound like I'm saying more than I should. So when I double up on a word, it's just yeah. like, let me be. That made me sound stupid. Well, cut yourself some slack, man. You know, it's, you know. I guess. Fuck it. You know. But uh. Let other people deal with that issue, you know? You know, your speech impediment is their issue, not yours. It is. You know, is. right? Like, you don't notice it, so fuck them. I mean, they're the one that's got to mm-hmm. understand you, you know? Sure. <laughs> so, dude, what you been up to, like, normally? What have been? What what have I been up to? Yeah, you know, I've been you know just whooping ass at video games. Oh, you know, liar! Against, against bunnies. Have you ever been to a boxcar arcade? Yeah, I've been a boxcar. Yeah, yeah, boxcar yeah, yeah. is lit. Mm-hmm. Box I beat car him at slim. basketball every time. Excuse me? Oh, you mm-hmm. shoot hoops? You, you didn't beat You it. did not beat me at basketball. Okay, tell me. Tell you me, beat me at football. Tell me how you remember it. I remember okay. kicking your ass at basketball. Just know that there's gonna be a, then, there's gonna be subtitles underneath that's fine. you right now that says this is all a fictional no. uh, scenario. <laughs> no. <laughs> and then I beat him at the football one too, but then he got me the next two times. Oh, y'all play arcade arcade games there. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. I like you, you see you see how she was able to relay the story and I beat him at football. But then he beat me, right? I beat like, you hey, once. You, you, you see, once I beat you. You know, um, dude. I tell you what, I've in in the successful dates that I've had, taking them there and like having fun and doing time crisis with them is fucking awesome. That's a fun game to play on a date. Time crisis. We did that with the guns. Yeah, that shit's mm-hmm. so. That, that was like was my fun. favorite game there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a that lot of fun. Like House of Dead. Mm-hmm. Oh, I don't know if we played that one. We played. Uh, oh yeah, and I beat you in the NBA one. <laughs> What NBA one? The one where I was the Bulls and you were the Lakers. Yeah, in the mm-hmm. 80s, you know? So she had, like, you you had an overpowered team. I'm not going to uh, lie. I'm pretty good at the basketball one. Yeah. Yeah. Not so much the football one. I actually, that's the. That was hard. When I throw like that, it just doesn't hit. Like, I can't aim with that. Yeah. yeah but yeah. when it's like, when I shoot basketball, like, anybody yeah. knows how to shoot a basketball. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> Listen. <laughs> That basketball is not the regu- <laughs> it's not the regulation okay. to begin with, right? Like, mm-hmm. dude, that's crazy. It's, it's too low, so you just <laughs> you just overshoot it every time. Well, you know? you're also like tall and well, standing yeah, next to exactly. you, you're kind of short, so it's easier for you to shoot than him to. Really? Exactly. I think so. Thank you. Thank you. Exactly. But if you're taller, you're closer to the basket. Yeah, but it's all about the dynamics. That means that I've overshoot it too much. He's a big boy. I don't think he knows how to control right. his strength when it comes to exactly. shooting the basketball. I'm just throwing the devil's advocate. Listen, I'm like six. Now we're teaming up. Th- I'm like six mm-hmm. three in the country where I was born. You know. Like- <laughs> <laughs> they called him Goliath back at home. <laughs> he, he walked around and the kids made fun of him. They're like, three, five, four, five. Fucking right, doggy. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, so we've been doing that. Uh, we've been watching a lot of, uh, you watch Narcos? 
Uh, I actually, yeah, I I do watch Narcos. I'm not done with it though. Yeah. Because I was watching the original Narcos, and then I found out there's one from Mexico, and I was like, oh, Yeah, cool. yeah, yeah. We just started the Mexico one. Yeah, the Mexico know? one's good. Yeah, for yeah, obvious yeah. reasons. You watched that one already? Mm-hmm. I finished that one. That one's really good. Yeah. Like, oh, dude, it's so hard to like. I love how stories now are like making you relate with the villain instead yeah. of it just being blatantly the villain and that's who you hate. Yeah. yeah. Like it's it's super awesome how good writing's gotten now. Mm. Too bad they're on strike though. I know. Yeah, strike. You were gonna tell us a little bit about that, right? Yeah, dude. Like, and, and then I'll tell you my feelings about it. Update. Mm. Update. Okay. So um yeah. Update on the writer strike. Uh I thought I didn't care, but now I kinda care. Yeah. Um, yeah. So video games are now getting involved in that. It's kind of crazy. So apparently, and I don't even fucking know about this. Uh, video game companies are unprotected by AI, and I guess in a way, this also includes like uh, just leaks, like people being able to like download versions of their own games. And so now the the video game company, in a good way, like it makes sense for them to go on strike for that reasons because it's their shit, like. You don't want something that you want released out, right? Yeah. And so the controversy on that is that now video games are in uh, are at a halt in production. And so now there's two sides to the whole community. There's, you know, everybody's like, oh, great. Like, do that. That's good. You yeah. know, take your time on that. And then there's a huge chunk of the community that's like, fuck that. We want everything. Like, we want all the games now. Like, don't go on strike. And uh, kind of in the middle, leaning this way now. Like I'm I mean, leaning on the yeah, you guys are good. Keep keep just keep doing your thing. I mean, do we do we do we really need any more games? Yes. And yes. as I, and and, but, and I mean, it's like, tell me how many original games that are bangers do you get? Like it's like, do you need another another Madden? Do I need another Madden? Oh, I could give a shit know, about those like, games. Do I need another Street Fighter? <laughs> do I need another? Mortal Kombat, do I need another... I like all old people games. Call out, excuse me. <laughs> Those are like older games. Yeah. Mario, like you forgot Mario. Mario, well... I, well, I they still make you, those. Yeah. Nintendo, Nintendo keeps it fresh. I don't know, I, I sometimes feel like... And maybe maybe it's because I'm a boomer fuck now, you know? like. <laughs> but I, I sometimes feel like... It's like the games take so much time now just to crack them open, if that makes any sense. Like, what do you mean by crack them open? It's like it requires like a major time investment if you're going to buy a game to get like, you know, to the first place where you might be like, all right, hell yeah. Like I'm at a, I'm at a place where I could stop and play another game for a while and then come back to this one. Uh. Oh, are you saying that you just don't like the idea of investing into something? So much like that? time. It's okay, like they take a lot of time. Do they not? But I mean, yeah. In a way, you could call video games a hobby, and so people invest their time into things like crafts work or yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, I mean, hour for dollar, probably a pretty good source of entertainment. Exactly. You know, I could see where you're coming from. I mean, granted, not a lot of people. Yeah, like video games, you got to do the work. You'd yeah. rather just kind of just chill there and like watch it happen, right? Right, right, right. Yeah, I mean, like, I have a save game of Red Dead Redemption that I have no idea what the fuck is going on in it, but I know it's got a bunch of hours in it. <laughs> I mean, I got hours to waste, buddy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you don't. <laughs> that game is hard. Uh, to be in your 20s. Red, De- <laughs> Red Dead Redemption? Yeah. It is kind of hard. It's just it's GTA Western, and it's awesome. I love it. I love it. It's cool. You, you have no idea, like, how many hours I spent just fucking shooting birds <laughs> in the swamp. To, to harvest their fucking uh, goddamn feathers, you know, like, Bro. And then, you know. You know what I think is a weird genre of video games? The video games that are simulators. Like, like which type? Far- farming simulator, plane simulator, like, that shit's kind of, ugh, like, that gives me an ick. It's like, animal tell me more. Crossing. No, no, I'm not talking like, about I that. Love animal I'm not crossing. talking about that. <laughs> like the specific group of games where they're like plane simulator, farm simulator, like those. Like, I think that shit's weird. There are a lot of people that are really into the the plane simulator. Like, like I have a buddy that like, and they'll get the joystick and everything because, it, like, you literally have to control everything like a real fucking plane, but it's like. 
it seems like it almost seems like not that much fun. It's almost like like I don't want to be disrespectful about it, but like that's like a dorky ass game. <laughs> like <laughs> I'm just saying, like I wouldn't name, I wouldn't call it a game because like it gets nominated for game awards and shit like that. It's like, dude, that's a that's like something for fucking work or something like that. It does sound like a boring that's an game. instruction video. <laughs> like, it's not. I mean, I guess in a way, like I look at video games as art, and so I think simulators are yeah. not art. You know, what's your favorite video game? Most recent video game that you played? Most recent video game that I've played, Armored Core. That's a really fucking fun game. I thought I was gonna hate. I didn't. I didn't like the idea at first because I thought it was dorky, like giant mechs. And then, like, I was like, oh, who's making this? And it's like the, I don't know if you know Dark Souls or that those mm-hmm. kinds of games. So this is like mechs with that style of gaming. So, like, you're in a robot and it's hard as fuck to play the game. But it's pretty good. I'm, I just got it, like, yesterday and it's fun as shit. I don't really know much about it other than, like, you're in a mech suit and you just got to do shit. Like, that's it. But it's cool as fuck. It's hard as shit. What's a mech suit? It's like, a, you ever see, um, what is it? I gotta be basic about this. Um, you ever <laughs> see Pacific Rim? Yes. Those are Mexicans. Okay, okay. Those okay. giant robots, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Why do you have to be basic about it? Well, because like I'm not gonna be dorky and be like Gundam. Do you know what Gundam is? No. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, okay. Why Whatever. would I set myself up for failure, Arturo? <laughs> what are you assuming that because she's fucking buddies a girl that she doesn't know about Gundam? No. no not, not that I she don't. Does it, not that she does it. <laughs> Was I wrong? <laughs> Fair enough. Come yeah. on, man. I can read my cues. I read signs now. I know. I've read a book. <laughs> I've read a couple of books. You're like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're like, this fucking bitch is doing it just for a look. <laughs> She's not part of the community. Yeah. Like... <laughs> Dude, I became a red pill guy. Like, this... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. After, after the strip club, he's like, oh, yeah. You know, she doesn't know anything. <laughs> this is just how she lures them in. <laughs> no. <laughs> um... No, dude. I've. Uh, I mean, so not a lot of people. In, you know, not a lot of people in America know really know Gundam. I bet you, if you were to go to Mexico, fuck yeah, yeah. everyone knows Gundam there. Yeah, it's like a staple there. What would you say Americans know instead of Gundam in its place? Do they know anything? I mean, do you know novellas? I mean, I've seen some. You've seen some, right? But yeah. you don't. You don't really know it, right? Right. Exactly. That's 2 0, Arturo. <laughs> That's it's 2 0. Yeah, fair, fair enough. Yeah. I'm winning today. <laughs> <laughs> Ask her something about food. <laughs> Let's see if you go three for three. Ask her something about food. <laughs> okay, all right, all right, all right. I got you. What do you know about a torta? I know what that is. Okay, what is it? It's like a little. Like puffy bread. Wrong! It's a Mexican sandwich! <laughs> Winner. Yeah, and it's on three puffy three. bread. No, it is. No, I just wanted to <laughs> psych you out with the one word that means three different things. <laughs> no, you're right. All right, I that's know. two for one. <laughs> yeah. No, she's like, uh, you know, she she's uh, makes some bomb ass Mexican food. Oh, word? Mm-hmm. Yeah. All okay. from scratch. Ooh. Yeah, if, if, even before you showed up, you know, she was, she was giving me shit about. The conversation that we had regarding the 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 fucking uh, corn tortillas the other day. <laughs> that flour, flour is better. Dude, literally, I got so much shit for that. And I don't think... Like, the thing is, yeah, yeah, I, I don't think they understand what I was trying to say. I'll eat corn tortillas. They're good on their own. But if I were to just choose, if they gave me the option, a flour tortilla. It's softer and it's a little better. A it little. Is. It is. It is. It, it is... Demonstratively better. You'll eat a taco with a flour tortilla. If they give me the option. That's not a taco. That's a burrito, an open burrito. No, that's a soft taco. That's a no. taco suavecito. That's what that is. No. So so what is a soft taco? Is there such a thing as a soft taco in your eyes? I mean no. Because if I say yeah, Boom. then I'm like, oh, the flour tortilla. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. Boom. If I'm, if I'm being real, though, I see where you she's coming yourself. from with the whole like burrito thing. Because yeah. I've thought about that, too. I was like, yeah, I'm really just eating a burrito. I just prefer burritos. But if it's labeled a taco, I'm just go with it. But yeah, if I'm being real. If I'm not, Damn. it's a taco. 
Fair enough. But yeah, enough. like <laughs> that one person on TikTok that was like, oh. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, 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 yeah. They she, were going at you. She was like, oh, that's how you can tell they're not Mexican anymore. I was like, oh, Mexican-American. I'm both. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they were not having it. And then you were like, oh, because I don't, that means that I'm not Mexican. They're like, exactly. <laughs> she goes, she goes, I guess. When I was like, it's just preference. It's fucking dumb. But I get it, you know. In a way, I guess I I didn't come off as clear, mm -hmm. but yeah, no, I rock with flour tortillas. I just rock with burritos. Yeah, burritos Open are cool. Burritos. Open burritos <laughs> with cheese. Yeah. So I meant to ask you, okay, unless you had something. No, no, no. Go ahead. Um, is there a movie? First of all, what's your favorite movie? If, if you had to pick one that you remember most by heart. By heart? Yeah. Uh, Spider-Man 2. Yeah. Is there a particular scene from that movie that you know by heart that you could recite? Word for word, bar word for bar? Word for word, yes. Oh, dude. <laughs> and no, let's, but and let's did, hear it. Let's no, hear it. but I have one movie that I think uh, I could do. Is I can do like a small part of like Nacho Libre. Okay, let's hear it. <laughs> He's like, uh, what, what happened? Set up this scene. What's happening? So in this scene? it's like the one part where uh, Ignacio, Jack Black's character, yeah, goes and he uh, he goes and he's like, get picking up tortillas from like the local taqueria yeah, that yeah, gets yeah. to the church, but he gets beat up and the chips get stolen and he goes back to the church and he's like, what happened with the chips? He's like, where did the chips? And and Nacho's like, they were stolen, and then. Uh, the guy that really hates Ignacio, which is uh, Jack Black's character, he goes, did you tell him they were the large chips? <laughs> and it's just like, I can do those yeah. voices like really well. That's like my favorite scene ever. I could just only quote like just lines yeah, snippets, from it. Snippets, yeah. Yeah. How about you, Bunny? Um, I'm the same. Like I know like different lines from different movies, but I know like Ever After with Drew Barrymore. Yeah. And... I don't remember the other girl's name. Yeah, what did but they say? She's like, was there ever a time, even in its smallest measure, that you loved me? And then she says, "How can anybody love a pebble in your shoe?" Dang, oh, cold. Yeah. That's cold. Uh, that, that's mm -hmm. fucking cold blooded. That's crazy. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. Another thing too. <laughs> Have you ever used that to to say that to somebody else that you were mad at? No. Hmm. Ace Ventura, honestly, like, growing up, that was always on rotation. Ace Ventura, yeah, uh, The Mask, um, and that's about it. Mainly just those two from him. And then, yeah. I mean, Jim Carrey has always been a staple in my life anyway. Like, my favorite movie is Eternal Sunshine, yeah. The Spotless Mind. So I, I feel like there's, like, a lot of those movies, right, that, like, because Ace Ventura was not, like, age-gated, right? But I feel like we've talked about this where there's a lot of movies that you haven't seen that are just comedies that were like, in my time growing up, just bangers, you know? Uh, what did we watch recently? We watched, uh, it was Super Troopers. It was Super Troopers, right? Super Troopers, very <laughs> yeah. funny. Mm -hmm. did we, you, we watched Halfway Through 40-Year-Old Virgin. Halfway the 40-Year-Old Virgin. Uh -huh. That movie is fucking hilarious, you know? And then we still got to we gotta watch another movie. Yeah, we got to watch another one and do a Generations at War one. Mm -hmm. Movie study episode. Hell but yeah. yeah, Super Troopers was really funny. That one is probably my favorite one out of the ones you've shown me so far. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm going to show you more. And you've never seen The Matrix either, have you? No, I definitely have seen okay, The Matrix. Just oh, that's sure. a classic. What do you mean? I don't know. Like, fucking Super Troopers I is a classic. I know that's a classic. All four. But, yeah, <laughs> but I mean... Who's no, gonna... it's good. It's good. Like, the 40-year-old version, you still have to finish it. Like, mm -hmm. there are these key, you know, like, did you ever see um, How High? No. Oh, Method Man and Red Man, that is a classic. That is a classic. Dude, I was, uh, the other day, at, when I was doing, like, the break from video games, like, I watched a lot more movies over mm. the week. Like, I saw that movie Blue Valentine. That movie's fucking... I don't know if I've out. seen that one. I don't think I've seen that one either. It's, uh, Ryan Gosling in that movie. Uh, mm. And uh, I forgot who the other person is. It's, like, fucking obvious who the other person is. Um, but it's, like, a love story. But, like, oh. it's, like, a doomed romance story. Oh, I don't want to watch that. What is? It, what do you mean? It's a dude romance story. So like, there's like a type of like romance. I love you, man, or oh, I don't know. Like the Notebook. Mm, maybe, yeah, more so <laughs> like, like that, uh... but like darker tone. So like, 
you, like Rugback Mountain? Is the, that what you mean? Like a dude romance? <laughs> or? So, like, the movie kind of starts off uh, playing scenes from, like, the past and the, and the present of okay. a relationship. So, like, yeah. but, like, the time difference is crazy. Like, okay. you start when they're, like, their past is in their 20s and then their future is, like, in their 40s. Okay. So it's like you see the dynamic between each where they are then and where they are now. So when they were then, like obviously mm-hmm. puppy love shit like that, like it was it was a uh, a better couple story in yeah. the past and then in the future it's fucking dark. It's like stressful. It's like they're arguing all the time. Mm-hmm. Like it's like they they know that they love each other but they're so stressed out and they're so this and that that it's like hard to uh ex- kind of express that love. Yeah. Because, like, they're both kind of... Any chance, any moment that they talk, you're kind of scared because you're like, oh, there might be one word away from an argument or something like that. Mm -hmm. And so, like, the tension is crazy when you watch their present. And then when you go to their past, they're like, where the fuck? Where where did it go wrong? It actually does sound kind of good. Yeah, it's awesome. It's a good movie. That shit was like, oh, damn, that's crazy. It's like a good... It's super realistic. Like, I, I watched a YouTube video about it and was like... They were like, yeah, like... The way the director uh, had it so it was so realistic was that in their present time, they roomed all the the, the actors together in the same house. So oh. it was like they were living with each other. Oh, dang. So it was like, a, I guess in a way, like a, light, like a home simulation. Like they were playing house, but it, for real. Dang. And so all of those emotions sometimes feel super raw. Yeah. And so, yeah, that That'd movie's really good. Go watch that movie, Blue Valentine. It's a good-ass movie. Um, I unfortunately hmm. had to rent that movie, but it's not on streaming service. That's another thing I fucking hate about streaming services. None of the movies that you want to see are on are, streaming yeah. services mm-hmm. and you have to buy them. That shit yep. fucking sucks. You know, sometimes, I, you know, I agree. Like, this is why I collect Blu-rays. Because uh-huh. I'm telling you, the moment that Blu-rays are fucking gone, they're going to jack up the prices again. They, they've already done it. Mm-hmm. They keep jacking up the prices for everything. Like, you, like... There's no more free rides. No. I was trying to find the movie uh, "Sound the Sound of Metal." Mm-hmm. You know that what that movie's about? No, it's about a dude who uh, was a is a drummer for like a metal like a metal band. Is this the one about the ch- traffic children? The sound of uh... no that no no uh, oh, that's okay a, that's a I don't know what that movie is. A Sound of Freedom, I think is yeah, what it's called. Sound of Freedom. Sound of freedom. Okay, just yeah. making yeah. sure. No, that. Sound of Metal is a is like a I'm musician. like I don't remember it being about a drummer, but. <laughs> It's like the musician's like losing his hearing and eventually he's going to go deaf. So he's oh. coping with the idea that his life is ruined just by this very huge insignificance in his life. Yeah. Aww. And so you get to watch like him crumble and like kind of like realize like, oh shit, am I, why do I feel this way? Like, mm-hmm. why did this have to ruin my life? And it's, it's good. I forgot the name of the actor, but everything that I've seen him in has been fucking peak acting. Mm. Like it's crazy. He's really good. I just wish I knew what his name was. But, Sound of metal here. I can figure it out. Real oh, quick. you got okay specs. Thank you. But um, that Sound yeah. Of metal. My brother was uh, cause it was on Netflix, and then I guess they took it. Is off. it the Riz Ahmed? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. He was, I think, in one of the Jurassic Park movies or something, right? I think like, he was like the the villain, like the guy, the yeah. manager running everything. Yeah, yeah. He yeah. was also in another movie that I really liked. Uh. Fuck it. How the fuck am I going to say I really like it and then I'm blanking? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Very, you don't uh, like it that much. He was, It was this movie on Hulu about uh, an alien, like an alien invasion. This guy used to work for the military and he was like, uh, what is it called? Uh, when they get injured and they get uh, 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 discharged. They got okay, discharged yeah. for an injury. And so he, like, I guess in a way thinks that the aliens are invading. So what he does is he tells his wife and his kids, hey, the aliens are invading. We need to get out of here. The wife obviously thinks he's fucking nuts. Yeah. And yeah. he ends up tying up the wife and kid and like I, I guess the wife's uh boyfriend, because they're like divorced or whatever. Yeah, yeah. And he yeah. takes the kids and he's like thinking in his head, Oh my god, it's a fucking alien. <laughs> oh, and, but it's shit. really not. What is it called? I forgot what it's called. Um that sounds good. But it's good. That movie had me <laughs> that movie had me so fucking psyched. Because that was when I was living with my mom and mm-hmm. like our living room is right next to the kitchen and she's yeah. always in the kitchen making tamales. And like mm. I, when I saw that with my older brother, like I was like, what the fuck is going on? She's like, she's like, what's going on? I'm like, what are you watching? Yeah. Like, I'm just like, 
fucking freaking out. You're it's like, a good nah, movie. you know, like, uh, <laughs> Dude, another movie I saw, and we're just gonna be talking about movies for this next few minutes. <laughs> okay, tell me. Gray Man or Gray Man on Netflix. Oh, oh is that with the Gosling list. as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah Gosling, yeah, yeah. Chris Evans. That oh, movie's... never mind, Chris Evans. <laughs> that movie's good. I like. I always really like action spy movies, but like this, yeah. this one took it to a whole new level. I like this one a lot. It's like yeah. uh, I'm not gonna explain it because I'm I'm gonna. Tired explaining movies, but it's a good movie. It's you could actually watch this on streaming services. What did you like most about it? Uh, yeah. That Ryan Gosling's a badass and knows how to fucking kill some people. It's oh. kind of yeah. sick. Have you? Uh, did you see him in? Um, was it Driver? Or what was the movie? Oh, yeah, he, Driver. He's a driver. Yeah, that's a fucking good ass movie. I because every I I saw a TikTok about everybody reposting the jacket that he wears in that movie. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. One yeah. With the Scorpion. I was like, I gotta fucking see this movie. I think that movie's good. I yeah, see why everybody like likes to like do TikTok edits for it. Speaking of uh, movies, right? Like, um, did you ever see the movie? Um, what's that movie called? Whiplash, I think. Oh, uh yeah. yeah, the one with uh, J.K. Simmons. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Did, you, did you like that movie, dude? That movie had me fucking geeking the first time. Yeah, because just the amount of pressure that J.K. Uh, that he his character was like, well, I forgot his name, um, but I know where he's from. I've seen him in like uh, Miles Teller guy. Yeah, that's his name, right? Yeah, <laughs> okay, he's yeah, in yeah. Uh, the new uh, that movie with Tom Cruise, Top Gun. Yeah, yeah, he's in the new yeah, Top Gun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's, he's in the new Top Gun. Uh, but that movie is I think is we so... have him right here, right? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, oh, you brought him down. <laughs> yeah, this is Miles Teller, right? <laughs> like... You're fucking nuts. <laughs> That's what I told him. I'm like, it's true and it's funny, but it's kind of fucked up. <laughs> they literally, what? There's two pictures of Miles Teller. His why did, mouthy, why his... does Miles Teller's <laughs> nose look photoshopped? <laughs> I don't know, but um, <laughs> listen, Miles Teller has a melty face. You know, like, I swear to God, like, tell me, like, tell me how can, like, and first of all, tell me these two people are not the same person. Dude, stop it. <laughs> do I, like, 100%, like, you? do we want other pictures? <laughs> like, tell me, tell me that these two people are not the same. Why have they not been in the same room? You know, like, <laughs> right? at the same time. Both of them. I think they might be the same person. I think this might be Clayface just like melting <laughs> into two people. You know, uh, <laughs> where did this sudden bash come from? <laughs> listen, I, what, what about Miles Teller that you hate? I about think him? he's overrated. <laughs> I think, you know, like, there's something like, how is he an actor when his, made, when his face is made out of pot, like fucking jello? You seen him now? Uh huh. Why? No, what do you mean? Hey, he's kind of built now. Yeah. yeah. Well, it, it, did he did he find a way to unmelt his face? Because <laughs> I, I don't know. Uh, well, we cut, this looks like you just pulled up like a young photo of him. And was like, let me just trash this 2012 <laughs> photo. What are you, are you like? Uh, is Miles Teller paying you? No, Miles Teller is actually kind of dope. He's yes. a cool dude. Like, I. Uh, oh yeah. He, he has like a GQ thing where he talks about his top ten things. I don't know. I think like the things that he had, like. Just he seems like a cool dude. He's been on a few podcasts that I've listened to, so like I I don't know. Yeah, but I'm not also. Well, not. I haven't heard anything about him actually. Like He's chill, dude. You yeah. know about like uh, listen, because like listen, tell me, tell me then, how is his face not melty in all of these images? This just this looks to me like in like the movie The Ring. You know when <laughs> when like you see them and their faces are all twisted. Like they need to untwist his face, you know, like oh, tell that's me. That's a bad one. <laughs> yeah, they said alone. <laughs> e- e- either either somebody's that's punch a crazy him. photo. Either the either his somebody's punch him in the face every night, <laughs> so that you know, like not for real. What beef you got with Miles Tillard? <laughs> For real, like behind the scenes, is this like an off air kind of thing you got to explain? No, to no, me? no, no. I, I just I, I think he's overrated. But he was pretty good in Top Gun. I'll give you he that. He was pretty yeah. good in Top Gun. <laughs> no, um, what were we talking about before we bashed Miles Teller? Oh uh, well, I was gonna, I was gonna have you. Uh, I was gonna position a difficult, difficult scenario for you. Ooh, okay. Uh, or are you doing? Oh, <laughs> oh no! A trolley is heading towards five elderly people. You can pull the lever to divert it to another track, running over a baby instead. So uh, five elderly people or one baby. 
Five elderly people? Yeah. If you don't do nothing, five elderly people die. You can save them, but that diverts the trolley towards a baby instead. Oh, yeah. We're doing nothing. How about you, buddy? I would kill the baby. You would kill the baby? Yeah. Uh okay. Well, he is the uh, the host of this uh yeah. of this episode. <laughs> Let's see. It. So Let's we will see uh see if who the world agrees with. Wow, only twenty four percent of people would run over the baby in this scenario. Yeah, but yeah. I see you're like one life versus five lives. Well yeah, and it's like a baby, like but them it old hasn't people lived life. It doesn't. But you got to think yeah. they old people. They've already lived their lives. Yeah, but I love old people. But then again, how many people know a baby or have had relationships with a baby yeah. to get that kind of like close to it versus except for the parents, obviously, yeah. versus imagine those old people might have, you know, children and grandchildren and, you know. Like, and what if the baby's parents are dead and then he has to go to an orphanage and grow up awful? It's Batman. You know, what are you talking about? L- listen. <laughs> Listen, all I know is that if they left the baby right on the track, it was probably for a reason. Yeah. <laughs> it was meant to be. Yeah. <laughs> no, dude, yeah. Five elderly. I mean, no disrespect to the elderly. Actually, full respect. Okay, how about this one? All right. There's a trolley barreling towards five identical clones of you. You can pull the lever to divert it to the other track and sacrifice yourself instead or five clones of you. Five clones yeah, of me? Yeah, five clones. I'm I'm killing the clones, bro. I'm, I'm the, the OG. Yeah, <laughs> exactly right. Like 100. percent It's uh 88 percent of people agree with that, and we'll do one more. A trolley sent towards a mystery box with a 50 percent chance of containing two people. You can pull the lever to divert it to the other track, hitting a mystery box with a 10 percent chance of 10 people. Wait. What do you do? So if you do nothing. 50 50 that the, you kill two people, and if you divert it, one in 10 that you kill 10 people. Oh, but then what's so? Here's the thing that's confusing me about this one. Yeah, <clears throat> if it's 50 per ten chance, two people, what's the other 50 percent? One that, person, then that you don't, no, 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 50 percent chance that you kill them, 50 percent chance that you don't kill them. Oh, okay. Or that there's two people in this big in this box, right? Or one in ten chances that one in ten chance that it's ten that people. that there's ten people in there. Oh, fifty percent. Don't do anything. I would do the ten people. I'm a gambler. Yeah, there could be point. nobody in it. Let's do it this time. Fifty-seven percent of the people agree with Bunny. Fifty-seven. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So is it a better chance to do ten percent than fifty? Well, yeah, because that means that nine times there will be nobody in that track. You know, nine times out of ten. It'll oh, you be bastard. My, you, know. you made me look like a fucking <laughs> idiot. Oh, my God. I fucking yeah. suck at percentages. No, 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 That's but, exactly no, no. what it just showed. No, but, you, but you actively would have to pull it. So you would be responsible, whereas oh. in the other one, where it's 50 percent chance that, you know, like half the time there's going to be somebody, half the time there isn't. You technically didn't do anything because the trolley was already heading in that direction, you know. Mm. So um, you'll do better on the next one. Yeah. <laughs> okay. A trolley is heading towards five sentient robots. You can pull the lever to divert it to the other track, killing one human instead. Mm. Now these are sentient robots, right? So they've achieved consciousness. They are, in all for all intents and purposes, alive. a person. Um, kill one human. Yeah, I think I'd do the same. You guys would kill a human, yeah, mm-hmm. and save robots, machines, robots can do pieces like of metal. Cool you said what they're is that conscious. One person gonna do? They're people, like they're of people, yeah, right? So they're basically there's somebody five else's conscience, right? So you're saying that you would go against your own species as far as survival, like you are going. You you have a... Then the robots will befriend us when they take over the world. And they'll be like, oh, these guys saved us, so yeah. they're cool. Watch. 16%. Only 16% of people agree with you. Damn. So then Because it, they're not traitors so to your fucking <laughs> species, okay? Like, you guys are traitors. You just said, oh, yeah, the robots maybe will take pee on you. You're like the fucking guy at the beginning of fucking Inglorious Bastards <laughs> pointing right towards the spot where the Jews were hiding. Oh, my yeah. God. <laughs> 
But I'm just saying, like, didn't you say that they're they were conscious? They're like, conscious. They have people like yeah. in them, or are they just their own like mind? Is that like they're their fabricated? own mind? Yeah, yeah. It's, not, yeah, it's yeah. fabricated. It's like Westworld. Like, oh, you know, mother. I would still pick the robots. Yeah, well, you know, uh, that's just I think I'm okay with the robots. Yeah. Me and the robots are like this. Mm-hmm. Shouts out. And then when they take over, they'll kill you first because you would rather save the other person. Well, I'm I'm gladly that it's a part of the resistance, dude. I'm yeah. all yeah. for like cybernetic stuff. Yeah, like I'm all for that. Yeah, if that sounds weird, but like think about it. Like it's kind of cool to just like I'd be like the one guy with just the one arm. Yeah, and it could do everything. <laughs> well, I was thinking about this, and 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 luckily this will come out after I try out this joke. But um, so I kind of had this new joke about how um. Kind of like that. You know how there's mm-hmm. a neural link or whatever, right? That kind of like afraid of going too early, right? Mm-hmm. Is what if you get the neural link version of like having like a big ass fucking cell phone, you know, like in the 80s? <laughs> you know, imagine if you got your implant and then later on you realize that it's just a huge implant, like the outline of a phone compared to the new implants that it they have. It just comes out. Oh, I got to extend, extend the antenna because I, I got it a little bit too early. Like right after implants were there, but before, like you know, like but then you have to talk like this or like this. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> if you spend your life savings on a PS One, you know, and now we're in like PS whatever, you know. Like, <laughs> um, no, but yeah, that'd be cool. Like cybernetic enhancements, I, I'd be for that. I mean, I know that's like a that's a bit of a hot topic, but we're not even there anyway. Yeah. So like, it's not really something that like should be argued about. It's more so like a observance. Yeah. You know, but yeah, that'd be cool. Oh yeah. So, I mean, in a, in a way, I guess like cybernetic uh, it, enhancements are kind of happening with you know people that lose limbs. Yeah. Like that kind of shit's like in development, which is super cool. I think mm-hmm. that's fucking awesome. If you were, uh, if they tell you that mm-hmm. you have to replace, you're forced to. And I gotta use the bathroom, so I'm gonna leave you this to discuss it real quick, but. If you were told that you had to replace uh-huh. one limb of or or organ to be replaced with a cybernetic part, right? It could be your eye, it could be your hand, it could be your arm, it could be your heart, it could be whatever, right? Uh-huh. Which Would one? Would it last forever? Huh? Would it last forever? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like, you know, like it's an upgrade, right? Okay. Which one would you do and why? Is it one minimum? Or yeah, one, you or you max. have to at least do what? No, no, no. You can replace whatever you want, but you have to at least replace something. Okay, go to the bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dude. Yeah. Um, I would never replace my heart. No. No, no, no that's no. a bad idea. Yeah. Because then think about I it. Do like, that all somebody could do is like EMP. Yeah. Dead. Like that's it. It's game over. Uh, I wouldn't do like lim- maybe I'd probably do like my legs. Yeah. Maybe. Both of them or just one? Both. Because if you do one, what are you going to do with it? You just got clink, That's clink. True. Like just the <laughs> and your other time. leg will like get all old and broken and you're just limping Exactly. Around. Like you That's just true. like. Because I, I'd get cybernetics for all the dumb reasons. Yeah. I'd be a hero. <laughs> I'd, I'd just be like a random what guy. What kind of hero? What kind of hero? Yeah. Like, oh, you know what? Because cybernetics, like, I'm thinking, like, super far in the future where we can do just, like, stupid shit. Yeah. Like, I'm thinking, like, oh, I'm going to get, like, an enhancement where I could just teleport anywhere. Oh, but yeah. It, but it would look like a TV screen cut off. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So then anytime I teleport, it's like, boom. And then I cool. reappear, boom. <laughs> yeah, that would be cool. It'd be super sick. That's a good one. Yeah. But if I were to choose, like, a re- like a realistic cybernetic, I'd say my eye. I'd give oh, him one eye. Oh, that's what I was going to say, yeah. I'd give him one eye. But I want it to be, I want it to look like my eye. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, I want, like, oh, it'd be cool because you could do, like, you'll be able to see, like, all the HUDs, like, very mm-hmm. small. But it's, like, moving as you're, like, looking around yes. and stuff like that. Like I think it would be cool. That, or, like, I would enhance my ears. Be oh. able to hear shit. Like, just, like, you know, I if I hear something, like, down the like road. Like a dog, that? you know? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> or people hearing. talking shit. <laughs> oh yeah. Mm-hmm. I would argue too that a nose enhancement would be good, like really? uh, like being able to like smell your surroundings, having like enhanced scent, like what about uh, bad smell. Would that yeah? Would that increase your quality of life? You think being able to it'd be useful. Better smell your surroundings. I'm just saying it'd be useful. Like you want to mm-hmm. smell when somebody that didn't like fucking wipe their ass 
too well so you can smell the shit particles. I mean, you know, <laughs> I feel like there's a way to control it. You know, because you, you can just not smell something. You know yeah. What I mean? Oh, okay. Like if you somebody was hung over, something. you know, you're hanging out with a comedian that's hung over, you can still smell the puke in their mouth. You know, like, <laughs> you, still, like, you could tell when your friends didn't put deodorant that on. Yeah, that day, yeah, yeah like, exactly. Know, Pull out the old spice. You need it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I like cool. to roll with the windows down. You know, like. <laughs> would you? I guess. Um, because I was, I was telling her I would never do the heart. Mm-mm. Why would you do a heart? Why would yeah. you enhance the heart? What so it never do? fails. But like, what if it does? Like, it's all electrical. Yeah. Like, like, what if an EMP? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Dead. But hold on, an EMP would wouldn't it fuck up your heart as well? Isn't there like a well, no, electromagnetic? You, I think uh, it might like fuck up your nerves. Yeah. Because it's electro waves. The first thing that it's gonna hit first is the nerves. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah and then you know it might fucking in, what is it incapacitate you? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it might knock you out. Yeah. But like, I don't think it's deadly. Mm-hmm. Maybe. I don't know who's to know. I don't know anything about that shit. I don't know. I never, went, I, I never if, went to war, cyber war. <laughs> yeah. I guess that maybe, um, and assuming that I can feel it, and, and to me it feels overall the same, maybe like like replace like an arm with like a Mega Man, like Iron Man type of like, you oh, know. like a blaster? Thing, like, like in your palm or like, something like, a, like that? Like Nebula kind of thing. It can be whatever I want it to be. <laughs> you know, I can break into things. It can be like, you know, like a blaster or whatever, like right? Like... Because then it can also, like, the Iron Man thing be, you can use it to scan things, you know? Mm-hmm. I was thinking about, like, legs. Like, I mean, that's yeah. obvious, That's a pretty basic choice, but, like... Yeah, like the chick from um, from Kingsman with the knives? Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> that, in a way, yeah, 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 but I wouldn't do like that. I'd probably give myself, like, like uh, what is it called? Uh, there's a certain term for, like, uh, velocity or, like, the height thing? I yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I want to be able to jump high mm. yeah. reach places. Like, flying is cool and all, but, like, you got to have, like, both the arms and the legs to do that. Yeah. But, like... Hold on, what? You know, to stabilize your body. Oh, okay. I was like, <laughs> I'm, like, flying. I'm like, you need your arms or your legs to fly? Yeah, like, stabilize your oh, body. Okay, if, yeah, yeah. if one part of the body is, like, heavier than the other, obviously it's going to be, like... like so, you, so you don't mean, like, a superpower of flying. You mean, like... If you were to fly with like a suit like Iron Man, mm-hmm. then yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't mean like like so, like technological stuff versus like superhero stuff is kind of a little different. What if you had a, a suit like the Vulture? Would you prefer that or having the jumping legs? Uh, I'd probably have the jumping legs because what comes with the jumping legs is speed. Faster than flying? No, like speed in general, like your movement. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, because okay, if you yeah. gotta like, I mean, I know we're talking like we're gonna be fucking superheroes, <laughs> yeah, 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 <laughs> but like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just saying, like, it, it, you gotta need something to like move fast, like to get to places. Like jumping isn't gonna cut it. You don't want to be a frog. That's true. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But like, I see where you're coming from with like the 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 palm blaster. Like that's cool. That would yeah, be cool. Yeah. Right. Hmm. Absolutely. I like the idea. I was telling her, uh, like, <coughs> like little like niche things, like teleporting. Like I like mm-hmm. that idea. Yeah. Or like hacking things. That's what the eye would be used for, mm-hmm. like the hack shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. That'd yeah. be cool. Damn, we're so yeah. This is like devious <laughs> shit. <laughs> yeah, back in my day, um, hacking meant that you got um, somebody through uh, AOL or an AIM messenger, uh-huh. you know, to like <laughs> click on something so you could open and close their CD tray, you know, like. Uh-huh. Uh, like <laughs> Be like, wrote this script, you know, and now I have, uh, you know, access to your computer. Yeah. I, um, oh, what the fuck was that? That scared the shit out of me. Uh, yeah. Another thing, too. Uh, I'm thinking about this Halloween going to a haunted, like an actual haunted place. Yes. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yes. This Halloween. Yeah. We might be going to the Devil's Tramping Ground. Nice. You want me to take you to a haunted mansion? Yes. Deal. I want yeah. to go. I'd be terrified, but I'll take you. Dude, you should. You guys should go to. Um. Well, I guess you guys are probably thinking like real, like haunted mansion thing. Mm-hmm. But you guys should go to uh, Terror Woods in uh, What's Greensboro. That? What is it? It's like a. It's eight different haunted houses that you got to go through a trail of. Yeah. And they're all different things. So yeah. like it's different like themes. Like the first one, you're you're gonna encounter arachnophobia. Is the mm-hmm. the house of yeah, spiders? Yeah, you're you're afraid of those. I fucking hate spiders. Yeah, they're the worst. Not really, but they're the worst to look at. Have you been to Panic Point? No. What's that? That's here, and it's like 
not just haunted houses, but they have like a trail in the forest. So like it's all dark, like mm-hmm. pitch black and you have to follow a rope that's Ooh. like tied around. <laughs> and then it takes you through like, there's like a, like an RV bus, but mm-hmm. there's like all these inflated things in it. So you have to like squeeze and try to get through it but it feels like it's suffocating you because Mm. it's like all these blown up things and then they have like the hayride and haunted houses and like it's really fun it's scary and you have to like sign a waiver before Mm -hmm. you go dude that sounds crazy Uh, just the idea of like walking in a pitch dark forest and like following a rope rope. that's creepy and then you'll like people will come out at you and stuff like while you're trying to follow the rope to like the next thing i did uh carowin uh scarowins I haven't been to that one. That one's fun. Is it? Yeah. It's just a lot of waiting. Mm, you yeah. know, because everybody goes there for Halloween. I did I the it. Bush Garden ones and the <clears throat> the Disney one. Mm-hmm. Those ones are fun. I want to go to the Disney one. My roommate yeah. really wants to go to the Disney one. Those are fun. Yeah. They're fun. We're planning a trip. What would, you s- what would you say is the thing that um, really, really attracts you both about paying to get scared? I it, love being scared. It, yeah. It's just like a... You'll be terrified it, later, don't worry. <laughs> it's the same reason that people pay for roller coasters. It's that yeah, thrill. the adrenaline. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like... I, do you think that's a modern thing, or do you think that people have always wanted to do that, or is our life, you know, just comfortable to where, like, I we think, need that? I think it was a thing. It just wasn't, like, a, the first thing people would think of when it comes to Halloween. Yeah. Like, I think people just think of, like, uh, just trick-or-treating and maybe, like, a party. Yeah. yeah. But now it's, like, that or, like, um, towns will host, like, little Halloween festivals mm-hmm. or yeah. um, fucking the, the Panic Point shit or, like, the torture houses and stuff like that where they, like, are simulating a torture or so, some shit like that. Do you know about the really famous one? I yes. For- and you get like $20,000 if you make it. Through. Yeah. But they can like break your fingers and like, they can like really do stuff to you. Yeah. They'll fuck you up. They put you in a cage and like, they put one guy in a freezer for like two hours. Like <laughs> it, it, I wanted nuts. to sign up for it, but I'm like, uh, if they like break my fingers and stuff, I'll be mad. <laughs> like no, I can't yeah. do it. I don't never want to experience that kind of torture. No. That shit's kind of gnarly. It's too real. <clears throat> and just it's just real. join the army and get caught behind enemy lines. <laughs> you know, like. Well, even military dudes that go through it fucking fold. They fold crazy. Yeah, I, it looks scary. It's just like... <clears throat> if you want, we can try to waterboard you right now on the show and see if... Uh, I might survive. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah I think we'll, I'm, we'll <laughs> do it for the next show. It'd be like live waterboarding. <laughs> you know, like, uh, and we'll do it to Bunny since you're into this... Uh, Oh, yeah. Torture scenario. Oh, God. <laughs> start an OnlyFans, start doing that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> there you go. You know, we'll be flushed with cash. Yeah. He's like, <laughs> Alex is like, I'll sign up. You know, let's like. do it. <laughs> Money There's some people well out spent. there that would pay to watch that. No, yeah. facts. For real. Yeah. It's, it's some true shit. Like, people will watch that shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We'll Me waterboard included. you, you know, this weekend. We'll record some <laughs> content. All right. Then. You <laughs> know? <laughs> I'll ask you. <laughs> um, you got a lot of good ideas, dude. Honestly, but um, yeah, but dude, what time is it? Uh, it is eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. Sheesh. PM. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, dude. It's it. I know daylight savings is gonna end soon, but like, yeah. I'm gonna miss. <sighs> oh shit! Yeah. Miss I that forgot shit. about that. I'm gonna have to start waking up in the mornings. Mm-hmm. You know? Like uh, every day is just gonna be the same. Like wait, you don't. Doesn't have to, it get later? It's don't early. You get an extra hour of sleep. No, they're taking away the hour of sleep and then they're cutting. Yeah. It. Are you sure? I'm yeah. Sure. Maybe. No, I I'm known to not know shit. Oh no 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 no! It's uh, it's full back. Hour. Yeah. It's full back. So spring you get an forward. Extra hour of sleep. Oh. Oh yeah. No. So so we get a little bit more light for a little bit because yeah. they're gonna go away real soon as, as it becomes winter. Mm-hmm. Um. But question for you. Okay. If you guys, like, do you, would you say that these Halloween and scary houses, um, would you, do you think that these Halloween houses have, like, regular staff, or is it more, like, temporary people that they hire for, for all these roles? The ones that I've been to have definitely been, like, hired staff. Mm-hmm. Like, okay, people question. that come. Okay. Okay, exactly. So, why the fuck... Would you put yourself in a situation where it's just like, okay, somebody that doesn't have or probably doesn't have a steady job, maybe are just going by the town and then 
You're going to put yourself in a vulnerable situation <laughs> in the dark where they can rob you, murder you, fall to your car. Why would you do that? It's like, you know, like. Well, they got to do auditions. Yeah, but what, 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 what is this, the CIA? Are they going to polygraph these people? It's a chance you have to take for fun. It's like, I think it's like acting. Do like, you think they're drug testing? No. The people? Oh, probably not. I've been yeah, exactly. Not. You want somebody <laughs> high on meth to fucking try to scare you? They would scare you. Yes, exactly. <laughs> they wouldn't stop it scare you. I mean, I mean, it's, I think of it more like they're just actors. Like the, the people in Disney, the people that have to, that are in the costumes and stuff like that. Yeah. Like they audition. They probably like, get drug okay, tested. Okay, so, you, so you're saying, so you're trying to tell me that you're stipulating here that these haunted houses have a similar rigor of hiring practices as Disney has for their talent. Not really. Exactly. No, I think it's just like Disney. who needs a job? Put on this fucking costume, you know, like <laughs> But it's like uh when you like say you go to one McDonald's and it's fucking trash. It's dirty, mm-hmm. like everybody there's an asshole. The yeah. food's not good. That yeah. one McDonald's, okay, cool. Um, didn't like it. But then you go to another McDonald's, it's like yeah. Cleaner, like for like they yeah. have like a ninety five because for whatever reason McDonald's can't ever pass their health inspections. Yeah, um, like it's just nicer. Like the food is better. Yeah, certain places like you can just tell quality over quantity. Yeah, I'm not gonna go to some random fucking dudes like uh, haunted house <laughs> <laughs> and then expect it to be the same thing as Terror Woods or something uh-huh, like that. Okay, like it's like there's a lot of stuff that go into like that kind of uh, I guess activity that kind of festival thing you know it'd be cool to do and film it what it's like you go like we we would need like um three pairs of night vision goggles Mm -hmm. but we would go (laughs) and sign up for for a haunted house but then go and uh sign up for the haunted house and then go scare the people (laughs) trying to scare the people you know like like go off the thing and since you're night vision goggling it yeah right you can see them and try to scare them you that know? would be funny. That's fucking hilarious. That's that actually a really fun, good yeah. idea. We'd get kicked out so fast, so but fast. It, it'd be yeah, really yeah, funny yeah, as yeah, fuck. Yeah. We just no, yeah, we'll hit multiple stops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and exactly, then watch, exactly. we're gonna get to West Ham. They'd be like, "We heard about y'all." Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like real perch, like <laughs> yeah. you know, we'll be like real. Uh... That would be so fun. <laughs> Damn, we'd have to figure out how to like put the night They're vision expensive. goggles. They're expensive. Huh? The what? The night vision goggles are expensive. I yeah. know we would have to rent them, but oh, I won't yeah. lie. the 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 way they check people like at these haunted uh, houses, it's not the best. They only just touch they, you and then like metal wave you and check your bag. That's it. There they is don't not. even check the bag. They just they open just it open and it like, and okay. close it. <laughs> Listen, one time I heard like from this this dude from Massachusetts when I was a bartender, right? Mm-hmm. And he said, you know, if anybody crossed him, he's like, no, he's like, I wouldn't do anything. You know, he's like. I would just, you know, I would wait and I would wait until Halloween, you know, and he's like, and then I would knock on his fucking door <laughs> and beat the shit out of him with a bat. He's like, what is it? What, what is he going to say? Spider-Man beat the shit out of me? <laughs> you know, so like, I don't know. I'm not trusting us both of you, you know, like you put costumes, you put darkness, you put yourself in a thing, you know, like, mm-hmm. I don't know. Am I traumatized? Maybe I'm traumatized. Maybe. Maybe. You know? Somebody come up to your door and hit you with Yeah, that's right. I feel like you told yeah, me. Yeah, no, I was an adult when 9 11 happened. Never forget. <laughs> you know, like, oh, how old were you? How old was I? <laughs> yeah. Like, I think four. I was in high school, cowboy. You when know, I was four. I think I was 14 or 15. I don't remember 15. that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly. I, don't get, I don't get why, like. You were four? I was four. I don't remember that shit Aww. whatsoever. Yeah, I, yeah. Like, he's a Gen C. You know, you know? what's crazy yeah. is that most people my age won't admit that. They'll come up with some fucking fake ass story. They'll be like, yeah. Yeah, I was in kindergarten and I saw it. <laughs> well, it's because they're all, they're all trying to front nowadays, you know, kind of like how we were talking about how a lot of second generation Mexican kids will be like, oh, yeah, no, this Mexican food is garbage. It's not authentic. But the parents from Mexico will be like, yeah, this is pretty good. You know, like mm-hmm. it's, it's different. But, you know, they're they like, want shit so hardcore on it, I suppose, even though they're the ones that would have be the ones says. that have the right yeah. to shit on it. <laughs> But it's like the kids are like, oh, no, this is bullshit. This is not how they do it in Mexico. It's like, <laughs> you've never been to Mexico, kid. Like, like what yeah, are you talking Paisanos, about? Yeah. Dude. Yeah, 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 those guys are fucking weird. I don't get it. Like, it doesn't have to be Mexican for it not to be good, you know? Yeah. Like, it could be good and it just be something like ACP. Like, yeah. I, I, for a while, was, like, giving a lot of shit for ACP. And that's just because I never ate it. 
What's ACP? Arroz con pollo. Oh, yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. like rice, chicken, chicken rice, and, and then queso. Like, yeah. Yeah. I thought that shit With was like... With a flour tortilla. Yeah, exactly. I would make fun of a lot of people that get that. And then I actually had it. And I was like, okay, I see. And then yeah. I found out there's other versions of it. Mm-hmm. And then it's not just ACP. Like, yeah. Like ACC, arroz con camarón, AC... They do shrimp. Yeah. yeah. Well, that, that was shrimp. Oh. Yeah, it's okay. It's my bad. It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, it, uh, yeah, like I said, I don't think anything just has to be up to the standard for it to be good. Exactly. Like fusion food, fusion food's fire. Absolutely. You know. Mm. You know, at my job, they opened up this uh, spot called Bull Box. Okay. This is fire. Oh, you ever had Bull Box? No, but I've seen it and it looks really good. It's fire. They got something. There's certain restaurants, certain locations have certain things. So the one at mine, like by my job, has uh, these things called bulgogi fries. Fucking fire. It's just mm. like loaded fries with like bulgogi steak Ooh, and shit like that. That sounds good. It's super crazy good. I'd recommend it. Yo. Yeah, we're making me fucking hungry. So. <laughs> Bro, I'm yeah. hungry right now. I haven't, yeah. Dude, I want some weird fasting shit. Yeah. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't eat breakfast. I eat like two granola bars throughout the day, and then dinner is my dinner. Yeah, 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 yeah. that's it. And I think it's kind of working, but I also think it's unhealthy. I don't recommend any. I don't recommend anybody do that. But we gonna get skinny one way. (laughs) Hell yeah, we gonna get there. I've had enough. I'm trying to look good. Maddie Matheson can only look good big, not me. Hell yeah, I can't wait for this temperature to drop because I wanna. You can't do shit outside right now. Mm-mm. Oh yeah, because it's fucking you know? hot shit. Yeah, I'm gonna be like Rocky every morning, yeah, running in the morning with the hoodie. Well, we gotta get you a bike, bunny, because I love bike riding. Oh you know? yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, we can pull out my old. Oh yeah, I'll pull out the BMX. We'll go to the park. BMX, yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Fucking ride some vert, you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's so fucking hilarious. <laughs> Hit um, the gnar. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's um, fucking hilarious. We'll do some tabletops, you know, like. On the bike, yeah. Um, but um, I think I think we're pretty cool right now, actually. Hell yeah, we did I, over an hour. Yeah, I'm fucking hungry. I'm about to go get some food. Fuck yeah, homie. Um, dude. Oh, last note before we go. Yeah. And I guess this is technically we could use this as promo for the end too. We're on Spotify. Oh hell yeah! Fuck You've been on uploading Spotify videos, now, yeah. right? Yeah. So oh, hell yeah. By the time this releases, I'll have all five of the first episodes up. Fuck yeah. And then I'm going to release the next five up until we get up to date. And then every time a new video uploads, I'll upload on Spotify. I love it. Oh, so yeah. it's going to be lit. Finally. I, yeah. Dude, I it took a little while to figure out because I didn't want to just do something. Yeah, and it's a pain in the ass. There's all these settings and everything you have to set up for it, you know? Yeah. I, I was just like, because so many people ask like about Spotify. And I'm yeah. like, bro, that shit's a little extra. But yeah. I figured it out. It, it's nice. It's oh, yeah. Well, have to, I have to do it for the other pods. Mm-hmm. Um, a side of fries uh, on Spotify. Uh, hell yeah. It, 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 it's like the top three searches for that category. A side of fries. Oh yeah. yeah, it's nothing special though. And so how far. do you think Bunny did on her uh, first uh, live episode? Oh yeah, we're gonna be real good friends. Yeah, this is gonna be awesome. <laughs> yes, somebody that like is like the in between now for yeah, me yeah. and Arturo. Mm-hmm. So it's gonna be sick. Oh, I, yeah. I'm yeah. honestly, I'm I'm stoked that you're on the team. Thank you. Me too. I'm excited. Oh yeah, we're very it's excited. gonna be fun. But yeah, we're gonna end it here. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for supporting everything. Like I said, we're on Spotify. We're on YouTube. Here on the Manly Girly channel and twitch.tv dot com slash ASOF official. Y'all have a good night. Bye. Bye. Woo! Hell yeah.